Yoga is an extremely helpful exercise routine and today we've come to see Neha perform the Uttarasana, the camel pose. This asana is very good for the back and helps improve the flexibility of the spine. Did you know that your spinal cord is housed inside the vertebral column? The vertebral column is composed of bones called vertebrae. There are a total of 33 vertebrae in the entire vertebral column which is divided into five major segments. The first is the cervical region and it consists of seven vertebrae present in the neck region. The first and second vertebrae of the cervical region are called atlas and axis respectively. The second region is the thoracic region and consists of 12 vertebrae and is present in the chest region. The third is the lumbar region. It consists of 5 vertebrae. The fourth region is the sacrum and comprises 5 fused vertebrae and the fifth is the coccyx which is also known as the tailbone consists of 4 fused vertebrae. Each vertebra has a cylindrically shaped body known as centrum which is flat in shape. It has a canal known as the neural canal through which the spinal cord passes. The neural canal is formed by two neural arches which arise from the centrum. At the point where the neural arches meet, a flat longitudinal ridge arises called the neural spine. From the side of the neural arches, a thick bone arises known as the transverse processes. In the front and end of the neural arches, a projection known as articular facets are present which helps to join one vertebra over the other. Between the vertebrae, there is a cartilage that helps to reduce friction. The vertebral column protects the spine and helps us stand erect. So do some yoga and exercise, maintain good posture and keep your vertebrae healthy and in proper shape. See you next time.